Hi everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm a student at Government Medical College Nagpur and welcome back to another study with me episode. I'll take you through a revision filled day so that it finally motivates you to get out of bed and start studying. My day starts off pretty beautiful. The target for today is microbiology, not just any topic but the entire subject in general. That's right, one subject, one day. That's it. I quickly clean up my desk so that I could study over there and open up my book to see what I have to study. Micro is a very big topic. It contains everything from bacteria, viruses, parasites, fungi, management of infections, etc. So I decided to start with topic bacteriology. The reason that I'm able to revise a lot of things is because I start early in the morning and you should reduce the time you spent after waking up to the time you get to your desk because a morning hour is equal to two evening hours. Most of the times I have my breakfast while studying, as you might have noticed from a lot of my vlogs before. Microbiology in general is a very volatile subject, so it requires a lot of frequent revisions. And more importantly, the information that we remember in all of these small pathogens can get mixed up in our heads. So we tend to confuse between was this the property of Staphylococcus or was this a property of Streptococcus. The only way to get through this is revisions and discussions with your friends. The purpose of reading this subject is to prepare myself for the university examinations coming up next month. There is a huge difference between when it comes to reading for competitive exams and when it comes to reading for theory exams. Here I am skipping a lot of stuff and that's the reason that I am able to complete this in a short duration of time. Because theory exams don't look at the fine details, they look at the gross picture. Competitive examination looks at the extreme details. So a question that I get asked frequently is, how do I know sir which topic is important which is not? Well, you should just ask your senior because they have had the same experience that you are having. Or you could use books like Balani or Unique which are available in the market. Along with reading, you should always indulge into discussions with your friends, especially the friends who ask you a lot of questions and also solve a lot of previous year question papers. I already did that. But then our exams keep getting postponed. It's like we really want to give the papers, but the university doesn't allow us to give the papers. I'd like to hear from you in the comments. How are you dealing with the postponement issues of different examinations? Because I'm sure a lot of you must be affected by it. Hi everyone, I just completed the gram positive bacteria which accounts for around 15% of the total syllabus that we have to do today. 85% of it is still left. So without any further ado, let's dive into gram negative bacteria, then viruses, then general. It's 10.30, with this rate we should be able to finish everything till 5. As I munch on the tasty apple, I read through E. coli, Klebsiella, Shigella, Salmonella, Proteus, Vibro, Brucella, Podotella, etc. I did a lot of gram-negative bacteria, a few are left. I'm gonna get some lunch and get back to this gram-negative thing. Let's go. After getting my lunch, I get back into my room, take a break for a few minutes and open up my iPad so that I could continue studying digitally. Here you can see I've made a table of the lab diagnosis of different bacteria. This is one of the most important questions that we are getting asked in microbiology. How do you diagnose a bacterial infection? and different bacteria have different ways to be diagnosed. What I encourage you to do is make your own tables such as this one because they genuinely make life easier. This tabulated information will not just decrease your confusion but also increase your visual and spatial retention of information, especially the information that is so volatile. Hi everyone, just done with bacteria. Now moving on to general microbiology using the active recall Google Docs that I made earlier, like a year ago, that is. So at this point, we're like 40% done, so 60% is remaining. Also, if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing because making these take a lot of effort. All right. Yeah, definitely subscribe because it's free and you can always change your mind later. This is a Google Doc that I made for my active recall of general microbiology. Using this method, I save myself a lot of time each time I'm revising this particular unit. To know about this in much more detail, please check out the first link in the description. Let your 
Hi, 50% of the syllabus is done. Just completed general microbiology. Now moving on to viruses and then fungi because those contribute to the remaining 50%. I'm not doing parasites in this video because you cannot, you just cannot do them all together. Plus it's like a separate book. Moreover, if you mix the parasites together, you get a very bitter parasitic khichdi which you don't want in your head. I'm gonna take a break for half an hour, then moving on to viruses. After that, fungi, then we're done. So I lost motivation to study in my room. Gonna go downstairs and study viruses. Catch you guys over there. Making a study with me video is one of my favorite things to do because it forces me to study and also it provides a lot of content for you guys. If you feel like you aren't studying enough these days, just put a camera in front of your face while you're studying. You end up actually studying more because the camera is looking at you. While reading virology, I start from general virology, then we move on to herpes viruses, HIV, influenza, measles, mumps, rubella, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, the coronavirus, polio virus, dengue virus, I mean I could go on forever. There's a lot of viruses, but the good thing is that our body can fight with most of them. So there's not a big thing to worry about. Hi everyone, I just got out here to get some fresh air. We are almost halfway through virology. There are a few viruses left. So you, at this point you might be wondering how am I able to do all of this in such a short period of time. First of all, I'm reading only the important topics that are given in the PDF. So not a lot of things, skipping most of the things. So if I have a chapter of three pages out of that, I'm reading like only five or six paragraphs, which are most important. Next, um, I'm keeping myself motivated because I'm recording a video like so. And it's almost like five right now. So quickly, let's finish this getting back into the house. Let's go. Whenever you are preparing for an examination like I am, always remember that not everything is important. There are only few things which are actually important. And those are the things which we should be focusing on. Otherwise, we'll just waste precious time reading things which are not adding value to us. everyone i just finished with microbiology for the day i did not do fungus i did not do parasite because to be honest i don't feel like doing them right now probably gonna do them tomorrow so for the mathematical part out of the 100 percent syllabus how much did i complete it was around 70 percent and i think it's honestly okay to leave the remaining 30 percent because 70 percent is just so huge another thing is that uh, what made me do it completely so there are three reasons first of all is i had a clear goal in mind second of all uh, i had this motivation to shoot this video as well as prepare micro for my examinations coming up next month and lastly i had no distractions whatsoever so if you got these three things down then i don't think there is anything that is stopping you from achieving your goals if this video added some value to your life hit the like button subscribe to the channel and until next time i will see you soon bye